Hello students! Today we're going to talk about the coronavirus and we're going to emphasize on the coronavirus in Europe. We're going to talk about how it began, how it spread, and what measures are being taken. Before I get into the details of how the coronavirus started and how it spread, I want to remind the students of Reyes Católicos that they are living through history. I also want to remind them that their feelings of anxiety, of unease, of unhappiness with being stuck at home are completely valid. We all feel that way and we're all stuck in a very, very difficult situation. I want to remind them that if they feel like they can't help or they feel like they're not doing enough for their community, that it is as simple as recording a video, making a poster, just ways to share to your community, to your friends, to your family, that you love them, that they are on your mind, and that soon we will all be together. So remember that this is a time to emphasize on community, on solidarity, on helping one another. And remember that whatever you need, you can always send me an email, and I'm here to listen, and I'm here to share with you my experience as well. The first known case of the novel coronavirus can be traced back to November 2019 in China. In Europe, the first three cases detected were reported in France on the 24th of January 2020. By the 21st of February, there was 47 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the European region. Now, to get, to get a better look at the coronavirus, how it started and how it spread, let's look at two countries. First, Spain, and then Italy. According to Wikipedia, Spain confirmed its first coronavirus case on the 31st of January 2020. This happened when a German tourist tested positive in La Gomera, Canary Islands. Now, let's look at one possible reason for the quick spread of coronavirus in Spain. Many have pointed to the March 8th march that happened in Madrid. Many have said that this may have helped speed up the spread of coronavirus in Spain. After the march, there was a drastic jump in cases in Spain's capital, Madrid. Now, what is Spain doing to prevent the spread of coronavirus? On March 16th, just a week after the March 8th Women's Day March, the Spanish government declared a state of emergency and imposed a nationwide lockdown. The state of emergency has since been extended and the country remains on lockdown. Additionally, on March 16th, the Spanish government announced the closing of its land boarding borders, allowing entry only to citizens and residents of the country. Now let's talk about Italy. According to an art article in Time magazine, on the 20th of February 2020, a local hospital in Cadogno reported a 38-year-old man testing positive for coronavirus. Now, why does Italy have such a high number of cases if there is only one case on the 20th of February? Well, some health officials believe that the virus arrived in Italy long before the first case was discovered. Before, before the first case was discovered, there was an unusually high number of pneumonia cases recorded at a hospital in Cogdano in northern Italy. This means that the virus might have gone undetected for a very long time. And by the time health officials noticed, the, the virus had already begun spreading and it was too late. Now, what is Italy doing to prevent the spread of cor coronavirus? According to an article on the Al Jazeera website, Italian government officials placed a country of 60 million people on lockdown on March 10th. This was in an attempt to stop the spread of the virus. Italy, as well as Spain, has also imposed strict travel regulations. As of 4.53 April 23rd, there are 2,706,970 confirmed cases of coronavirus in the world. Additionally, there are 189,725 deaths related to coronavirus.